Hi everybody, it's me, Vic. So I'm kind of excited. I have been wanting to work on these particular software videos for a while to set up for different platforms. Um, I already finished one, that video is coming out soon, but now we're gonna talk about another, which is TikTok Live Studio. And uh, as it says, help me meet my goal of a thousand followers, right? I'm trying y'all. It's not easy, but um, you know, you grow on one platform, you're trying to grow on another. I'm available on YouTube, Twitch, Pick, and TikTok. Anyways, let's get started here, right? So for those who, and the reason why I'm mentioning this, uh, for those who meet the thresholds, right, which I'm trying to meet so I can unlock a stream key and just use everything through OBS and give you one simple, simple setup, or even Streamlabs OBS, although I don't use that program. Um, anyway, let's move on from that. We're gonna talk about setting up TikTok Live Studio as long as you have met the threshold requirements or if you're a gamer and you have platforms elsewhere, TikTok wants you to grow your community. So you can actually say, hey, you know, I'm also live streaming here at XYZ hours. Um, and those who get the permission from TikTok to use Live Studio um, or once you hit that thousand followers as a gamer, you can unlock a stream key. You just reach out to them and I'm sure that they work with you on it. But uh, for those who are content creators, the minimum is 10,000 followers, right? So like if you're doing a just chatting or if you're doing hot topics, you have to have a huge platform for people to actually join in and get the stream key and do everything from PC as opposed to mobile. Now the mobile has its advantages. I don't know if there's a difference in the algorithm. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of stuck at that 250 views. I'm stuck there. I'm, I'm trying to grow bigger, but you know, that's why I put Help Me Be My Goal. I'm, And that's not just on TikTok, that's on all my platforms. I think the, the biggest that I have it at is here with my community on YouTube. Um, and y'all obviously see me when I'm going live, playing different games. I'm a variety gamer streamer on Twitch. And then Kick rolled out. I'm, I had to start over on Kick, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be a platform for me, but it's slowly growing, right? Um, but TikTok is a very big platform and there's discoverability. And that's one of the things why I was kind of intrigued to even try TikTok, right? But how do I set everything up to use it so that way I can actually interact? Well, this is a very beautiful, beautiful piece of software and they actually have a really cool feature here. Um, he tools, co-host, let me get started on that. So there is a dual layout, check this out. And I think this is so cool because I kind of wish OBS meld. Streamlabs somewhat does it already. OBS has a plugin for it. But TikTok does it to where if you're holding your phone in vertical mode, you see the portrait mode. If you tap into the video and you turn your phone sideways, the video goes horizontal and you just configure it that way, which I think is really awesome, right? Okay, so what I've lately been doing is portrait mode. And this is the setup that I usually use or I will use this particular setup when I, where I'm on the side here. But to show you how to do all of that, there's actually a very simple way. And I'm gonna delete that scene because I'll, I'll use it. <laughs> so we're gonna actually go to add a scene here at the bottom. Now, here's some options when you're doing portrait. General, cat, fit to screen, dual camera, and a blank canvas. For those who know how they want their layout, blank is always ideal. For those who want something where you just click a button and you just kind of click on certain things, then I'm gonna tell you if you're gaming, fit to screen. If you're just chatting, chat does it for you and you can choose whatever theme you want unless you have your own custom stuff. Um, in my case, I'm gonna do fit to screen because I'm gonna basically do it as if I was a newbie and had no knowledge of how to set things up. Now, before you click on add theme, because if you add theme, it's gonna add so many different variables of this particular theme. Go to view details. You can choose general, chat, fit to screen, and dual camera. So those same options that we saw earlier are here. So you don't wanna add them all. You just wanna uncheck the ones you don't need. 
And in this case, I'm using this one for gaming. And we're gonna add theme. I'm kind of digging the green. It's not really my color, but I like green. Green is like up there for me. Anyway, we're not gonna be showing our display, right? What we wanna do is show gameplay, but this, this is all wrong. See how it says camera here? We need to change that. So we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna actually select our camera, but I can't be in two places at once. So when I'm not using the face cam here on OBS, let's see, will it work? Here I am. Okay, but let's let's switch that back. <laughs> Cause I have everything custom the way that I want on OBS. But you get the idea, right? Now I'm gonna select the, the camera again. I'm just not gonna hop between different platforms. Um, you can choose enhance, and there's some really cool things. Did you know that it can whiten your teeth? It, it can whiten your teeth, I didn't know that. Um, you go to effects and filters. So you know how those people have like those glamorous looking, high glamour, Th this is real makeup, okay? There, there's no filter on this. But um, you can do that here in TikTok Live Studio. I didn't know you could do that, that is so cool. Um, anyways, we're gonna select apply. And what I wanna do is actually add my capture card in here. So I'm gonna add a source. And it lets you select game capture, display capture, window capture. Now I'm gonna tell you window capture is like if you're doing a browser, for example, or you can even click on a link and you can share it that way. Display capture is for like PC gaming, right? So you just select display capture and it'll select whatever's on your display. Actually, I'm sorry, I did that backwards. Uh, game capture is going to be the PC game and capture card is the one for your capture card. Sorry about that. Again, PC game, and your capture card. It's very simple, it tells you. So in this case, I'm gonna add my capture card. And it will tell you what is the best settings for you. And look at that right there, bam. Right? Now, if, you're, if you wanna do it this way, you can. If you want the whole screen to show up, you can do that. And the cool thing is it snaps into place. So like, if you're not sure where the center is, there it is. And I always recommend locking everything in so that way you don't accidentally move anything. There we go. And then when you go live, right? I'm not gonna actually go live, but when you do go live, you're able to set up some custom stuff. But before we do all that, there's an audio section that I wanna talk about because everybody has different audio settings. You're gonna go to add, right? Like if you didn't configure this, it usually does it through a walkthrough when you first install TikTok Live Studio. You're gonna select your microphone device. And in my case, I use microphone effects because I'm using VSTs from Wavelink, which is right here. And I'm using these. I do switch between my Elgato EQ and the Ozone 11 EQ. Now I play and tweak between them so that way I can get the best audio setting for me. And if I make any changes, obviously you will see them in the maker store um, thing that I have on uh, the Elgato marketplace. I do have a preset for the higher female vocals, um, but it, anybody who has a higher voice, it usually will be within that range and it sounds really good for them. Um, I've had very positive feedback on that, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I want to disclaim something here. When you're setting up audio in TikTok here, it is not controlling the audio here. So you're going to have to adjust the volume sliders here in TikTok to be ideal for your stream and it does not control Wavelink audio. I'm being specific about that because I think there's a lot of confusion where they see me adding the inputs and the outputs here in any audio program. And my audio sounds great because it's configured the way that I want, but then they're trying to control the volume through Wavelink and you cannot do that. If you're routing Wavelink software outputs and inputs in another program, that program is the only thing that's gonna control the volume for that program. It does not control Wavelink's volume. Wavelink's volume is going to be a separate plugin altogether. 
So for TikTok Live Studio, oh wait, wrong one. You're gonna install this on your Stream Deck if you have a Stream Deck or Stream Deck Plus or Stream Deck XL. I'm just gonna say Stream Deck for, you know, moving on here. Um, and you're gonna install it. And you're gonna be able to control some really cool little things here in TikTok. For example, you have mute and unmute, right? And that will do it to, and I'll show you. It'll do it to the audio, not your microphone. So if you're not paying attention, I'll redirect the mouse at the bottom there. And it'll just mute those audio sources, but it's not muting the mic. Now, if you're gonna wanna mute the mic, same thing as you can see here. And that's how it works in TikTok. But again, if you're wanting to do your audio, the microphones are usually your audio inputs. So say I wanted to add my capture card, right? I would go here to the Elgato 4K Pro Audio and add my game audio. Now I actually have my game audio routing to game. So if I had, for example, my 4K Capture Utility application open, it would be routing the audio from here to here. But if I wanted a direct live feed of my audio, I would go here. And I would probably bring this down to maybe about 35% because for whatever reason, it's really loud. It's really loud in TikTok. I've had, I have had my friends tell me, hey, it's too loud, change the audio. So again, as you saw, I changed the audio directly in the application. At this time, if you have a Stream Deck Plus, you cannot use the dials to adjust the TikTok audio. There is no adjustment. So if I go to dials, there's no way to adjust. If I'm looking here, there's no way to adjust the audio. So they, that is something that I would like to provide feedback for for TikTok. So again, you have to manually move the sliders here in TikTok. All right. Now, when it comes to adding, for example, Wavelink music or Wavelink game or, you know, even your voice chat, you're actually going to go to audio because it's an audio source. And then, as you can see, here is, for example, Wavelink music. I want to bring that down to maybe about 35 as well, and I can add it. So if I was, for example, running Spotify here, and I'm gonna run a royalty free. As you can see, it's playing here in TikTok. So if I was doing like a lo-fi night where I didn't wanna be on camera and I put like thanks for watching here and or some kind of like image over because I didn't wanna be on camera, I would do that while I'm playing whatever game and we'd just chill. You can even sound check if you want. You can mute the live if you need to. Um, but then again, that's when the Stream Deck comes in handy, so that way you're able to tap the buttons and, you know, mute the audio in case a moment happens. All right, so let me close out of Spotify real quick here. Now, if I wanted to add, for example, mm, let me see, sound effects, like if I have a soundboard, I would probably bring that down to 50% so it's still loud enough, but it's not louder than me. Now keep in mind when you're streaming, any time that you're streaming, you never want the other audio to be over your voice. Audio is probably the most important thing when it comes to a stream, so make sure that your audio is not doling you out. Um, all right, so that's how you're setting up these individual channels. And uh, I hope that helps. So in this case, I'm gonna mute my game for right now because I usually have it routed a different way when I'm live streaming. But uh, I hope that helps when it comes to setting up your stream for TikTok Live Studio. And it's very simple. Uh, we can talk about the Stream Deck plugins in another video, but for now, I'm just showing you how to configure both the audio and setting up as a very simple template if you don't have any overlays to make it look to your liking for your best streaming uh, start out. And I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.